Hello and welcome back. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, not the least of which being, what am I wearing? To answer that question tomorrow, there's going to be a new episode of a new series starting. So go watch that. That'll answer all your questions. Uh, but for now, we're playing this game. And now another question that I know you're all having is why is my score so low? Where are all my upgrades? What's going on? Here's the thing. I thought that this game saved and it doesn't. Uh, this game doesn't save anything. So I wasn't able to re be back at where I was, my progress, it was gone. But that's okay because I figured out what to do. And in retrospect, it's very obvious. So what we need to do next is we have to buy this warp drive and it does cost 25,000 fruit. And there's no way of cheating that. You have to collect that much fruit. You have to do it, but you can do it. So we're gonna do that. Here we are on our dragon. We're floating around. We got our upgrades. We have lock on to targeting because that's obviously superior. And we're, uh, we're doing this, right? Oh, but what's this? If you remember way back when, when we first got the turtle upgrade, it said that we could move with W, A, S, and D, rather than the typical A and D back to side. The reason is because you can go up. You can go up, you can fly around and go up. Look at this, this is great. This is, for one thing, much faster and, and a lot easier. But also, another thing you can do is go down. You can go down so far, in fact, well, wait, we're gonna finish this, but we're gonna go so far, in fact, that you go into an X screen or there's an infinite amount of fruit. Look at this, God, like a billion. Fruit like a bill, like a billion fruit. That's how many fruit we have, like a bill, like a billion. Wow. So I've done this and uh, I got an achievement called like Mr. Moneybags or something and it was just, you know, have a bunch of fruit. And so I did that. Uh, but we got a ton of fruit now. It's a lot of fruit. So now what we gotta do is we gotta, we gotta spend it on a warp drive. So we gotta do, I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Like go up and down. Clearly I can fly, I'm a goddamn dragon. Uh, so I'm gonna try it. Um, I, 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 we're gonna buy the thing. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I think it's gonna do something weird. I, I, I didn't look ahead to see what it would do. I just saw that it was gonna be weird. So here we go. All right, 25,000 fruit, warp drive, let's buy it. Done. Okay, going up. This, this is what I, whoa, okay. Glad you could fi finally make it, Hop. Uh, we're dealing with serious infestation here. Oh, geez, okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, be careful around these asteroids. Don't let them push you around. Oh, they can do that? Ow, I've never seen those bugs shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. Oh, that's rude. Wait, so these asteroids, you can't, oh, they like block. I got, I got a fruit. I got one of, I got one of my off route. Ah, you let the asteroids push you around. We said not to do that. I'm sorry. Whoa, this is crazy. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, I can't, I can't, the, the asteroids are solid. I can't move around them. I got that though. There's bug Mars now, their home planet. <laughs> They're gonna regret messing with us. Oh, it's bug Mars. Do a barrel roll. I can't, I don't know how to do that. Whoa, wait, 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 my fruit. Ah, let me get it. Oh, I missed it. Uh, so I guess we're going to Bug Mars, you guys. We're getting pushed around by the asteroids. We're going to Bug Mars. This is wild. Hey, what was that thing that just fell? I don't know. I don't have time for that. I got bigger fish to fry, bigger bugs to eat. Uh, there's all these, like, gift bags, gift boxes that you can't get to. You simply can't get to them. Like, I can't get to those bugs right now. Uh-oh. Ow. Don't forget to avoid bullets, Lieutenant Hop. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, here we go. Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. We couldn't, um... Uh-oh, warning. No ref nif no refugee. Beatitude for, uh-oh. Oh, hello. I wonder if the big guy over there has any tips about dealing with fractions. I think we're a little bit past fractions at this point. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the, uh, I'm hitting the arms. I'm hurting the arms. Ow! And I'm getting hurt by the arms, or by the shooties, by the pellets. All right, Gotti. Oh, hell yeah. Ow, destroy the core. Uh-oh, you were under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. You're not welcome. You're not really dressed for court. I'll be waiting when you get out, I promise. Okay, Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, <laughs> with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Okay, guilty, your honor. Not guilty, your honor. Amphibious, your honor. 
You've got the wrong du- wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. Instead of Lieutenant Hop. Oh, Mr. Hop. Okay. Has anyone ever told you that you look delicious? Oh, God, I'm surrounded by bugs. These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor. But there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Oh, all right. Seems easy. Absolutely. I love it here on Bug Mars. I've never been to a buggier Mars. You drive a hard bargain. I'll take the labor. I don't know. What are the hours? How do you feel about bribes? If you'll just reach into my front packet. Get them off. Get the bugs off. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Oh, God. Peristalsis? Sinic dosh? Bugs. Crushing our enemies and our powerful mandibles. Protecting my precious space fruit from you goddamn commie space bugs, your honor. Mm, Hate bugs, hate bugs! Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? I think they're in my hair. I can feel them crawling around. Four score and 20 bugs ago, bug in chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable rights. Oh God, bugs everywhere. During the War of Bug 1812, oh my God, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held Held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? They bite! Oh, they bite! Oh, they bite! Oh, they bite! Oh, they bite! Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about... Fractions? I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? I feel bad for this frog. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score on our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue you a work visa. You'll just sign here. Bugs, 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 bugs. I guess I'm not too worried about it then. Bartholomew Salians? That's my name? I was born uh, June 5th, 2012. I'm a chitin donor. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Instead of an organ donor, that's good. 1245 Bug Street, Insectopolis, 11101. What is that in Morse code? All right. Height, 1.5 centimeters. That's tiny. Weight, 22 grams. Bug. All right. Whoa. Mars fractions are best fractions. What the hell? We're back. We're still doing this, baby. Oh, we're still doing this, baby. Check me out. We are doing it. To purchase them. To purchase Merv Tongue, insert a $20 bill into your CD-ROM drive. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I already got one here. All right, cool. Uh, oh, no, I don't have enough Zork mids. This well-trained team of marketers ensure that the public has the correct impression on you. Oh, God. Wait, I got the work visa. I already got the work... When did I get the work visa? I guess that's what I got, right? When I did the courtroom? Cool! You're only in the country on a temporary basis, so you're going to have to give it your all when you have the chance. Oh, well, I gotta collect some more Zork mids. That's gonna be a problem. Uh-oh. Innotation. Intonation, rather. That's embarrassing. Periscope. My favorite Twitter feature. Well, we did that. So now I think what we're gonna do is go... Ha! Down. Whoa. Whoa, it's all silhouette now. Whoa, it's all silhouette now. Why? What is... Is there blood? Why? Why is there blood? What's happening? I'm scared. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Okay, good to know. What have I stumbled into with this game? What's happening? What's going on? Uh uh oh. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. I'm not good at decision making. (laughs) Hopefully that doesn't come up in the... Andre Citizen Felipe test. Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, caused that's my favorite strategy in boxing, the punching Felipe strategy. Felipe challenged the then champion, 
British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. Oh, that's good to know. What's your story there, guy? What you watching? What you watching on the old TV set there? You got the, got some shows on? Watching your stories? What you, what, what, what are you watching? Is it Breaking Bad, maybe? Here, check, check out my butt. I don't know if I have a butt. I assume I do, right? Do dragons have butts? Someone leave a comment down below if dragons have butts. I, I gotta know these things. All right, well, I guess going back down. We saw what I could only describe as what Justin Long turns into at the end of Tusk, but in like 50 years. Oh God, oh God damn. What, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? What, why, who made this? While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated Ain't and were forced the rule book. to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, okay. which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. And the what was the fuss all about? To engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. Oh, After of course. A few sports, sports, school moms, single-minded about safety, added the padded gloves, of course. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not a fish. That's not a fish. I don't know what that is, but it ain't no fish I never seen none of. And why? Uh, what? What is happening? When does it end? Where do I, how am I still breathing? Oh God, they're everywhere. I gotta run out of breath. Frogs can't breathe underwater, they have lungs. They have lungs. Oh, there's nothing up here. It's all a pointless lie. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost in this maze and I'm never gonna get out. Oh God. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Oh. The classification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. Yeah. But it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Uh huh. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. What? And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know where to go. Just kind of wandering around aimlessly. I'll get somewhere eventually. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thought that was where I was, but I guess not. Oh, hi. What are you watching there, guy? What are you, you watching Breaking Bad 2 or you watching Better Call Saul? You like the Better Call Saul or do you like Breaking Bad better? Which one do you like better? Which one do you think is better? Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul? All right, see ya. Oh, okay. Just a corner. Just another corner. I don't know, you guys. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Oh, my original vision. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. Oh, that's nice. You can visit one most any day of the week oh. and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Erudite. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and yeah. then leave. But every once in a while, you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Oh good! Oh good! I found a spaceship! Oh, it's the command module! Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. What? After a moment, you calm down enough, no, to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of this circular room curve to meet a point that, it most co that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hall. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads le aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. What's next? 
is a goddamn text-based adventure all of a sudden. This is a story that you interact with by entering simple English commands. Some examples. Look around, or just look. Examine ball, or just X ball. Inventory, or just I. Get wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth. Climb stairs, open box. Read pamphlet, pour orange juice into glass. Put plate into on placemat. And finally, remember the adventure gamer's maxim. If it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. All right, uh, let's uh, go back. What? Ba I don't understand that verb. Okay, return. I want to go back to the... Whoops. Oh, I, I messed up. Oh, no. I'm locked here. Uh, win? Yeah, I've won! Yay! Good, I won. Achievement? Achievement? Oh, I don't understand. End? You seem to be having parser and or guess the verb trouble. Remember, you can type help for a sit. Well, I tried that and it just gave me this. All right, well, let's try to look around. Let's see, maybe if we look around. Okay, the walls, yeah, here we go. All right, let's go to porthole. Look, porthole, that's, that's, that's what we'll do. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. Let's read the pamphlet. What was just, that was just an example. There are no pamphlets in space. Well, that's a shame. Let's open airlocks. That's, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, I don't understand what you want to open. The airlocks. Open door. Can we open the door? Let's try that. Uh, I don't understand what you want to open. A door? You don't understand doors? Damn. End the episode? I don't understand that verb. Well, I do. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow for more exciting This Ventures. Frog Fraction Ventures. We're going to do it. It's going to be a grand old time, and I can't wait. We're going to get there. We're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? Did I say tomorrow? That was a filthy lie. Not tomorrow. Uh, three days from now, because two days from now is the first episode of the new series that I teased. The reason I'm wearing this. This old, this old outfit. Uh, so, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, nothing. The next day, that. Then the day after that, this. It's going to be good. Uh, see you then, everybody. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. And remember, keep watching. I'm sure you have a lot of questions.